Okay, here we go again. I'm filling my sink with water. And I'm going to use some um, I'm going to use some bleach. In there. And some dish soap. And I have this little guy down underneath by my feet. His name is Fred. And he likes to be sitting by the heater. So we're getting this side filled. I have an old rag. I'm going to scrub that right there. I have um, deep, I have deep sinks, you know, the depth. That's what I wanted when I got my new shiny kitchen, shiny sink. This isn't going very well. Bear with me. Okay, I'm moving over to... Moving over, moving over to the other sink. Throwing some soap in there. I'm afraid I'm going to step on my puppy dog down below. What would we do without our puppy dogs? So, I'm going to go right here to say hi, because I don't even know if you can see me in the picture. I'm going to move it along. It's hot. Yes, it's hot. That's for sure. With this rag. And I'm going to move this. This over here out of the way. I just want to scrub her up a little. Ooh, it's getting hot. It's hot. I have hot water. My phone is ringing. I'm going to let it ring. just wiping it down and around my countertop that needs to be scrubbed too and normally some people say say to let it soak for an hour but my sink wasn't really that dirty it was just full of water spots so to speed this little video up with the flaws and all now I'm going to ooh, that's hot drain the water out. Nice hot water. 
Yep, Fred, he's still he's still down there. I have a heater down below. Okay, now I'm gonna take my sprayer. Try to get as much of the you can see so you can still see the water spots. I want to try to get all the soap out. Because the next step I'm going to do is spray some steel, some stuff for your for, a, for any kind of stainless steel. And this seems to be the only thing that works in this little town of Garden City. I hope I don't look too weird here. But the CLR stuff. So what I do then is I spray is Fred, I hope you don't. What you do is you take some of your old dish rags that you used and you kind of wipe just wipe it around just a little bit. They say to go through the grain, with the grains, and they also say to, uh, I think, wait for well, no, you just wipe it with a clean, soft cloth. I used one that I have used before for my dishes. And I will, I have no problem getting another one. I do this, I usually do this once a week. This is what I do it. And then the rest of the week I use Windex. I know some people are not into chemicals. I unfortunately live in a town where the water is very, very, very hard and it's the only way I can get anything clean. As you can see, I've got a couple marks there that I would probably have to work on. We always want to try to do it perfectly, but there's more to life. You know. And my water drips, so I got some water there. Okay, now. 
I'm going to go and get myself a brand new clean. Clean towel. And then that's kind of going to really get her shining. To the best of my ability. So there's that. Put that there. And then there's my brushes back. And this is how you start out with the shiny sink. And then you go from there. And naturally you want to go from left to right when you get when you get it this clean, which my kitchen needs a little attention right now. And so I'm gonna turn around and fill my sink full of hot soapy water so I can scrub my counters down for the next thing. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And I don't know if you can see my face or not. So we'll see.